<laughs> no! That's not good. Welcome back to the video, guys. Episode 34. I just keep getting hit with snow. It's basically an everyday occurrence at this point. Yeah, it's already Thursday. All right, so we're getting a late start to the week this week because of snow. I have today and tomorrow to work on the bus for this week. We're gonna start out from down here in the basement. I went to Lowe's, I got some of these uh, little pneumatic strut thingies for the doors, the cabinet doors. Last week you guys saw me cut the little wiring duct base thing that I built to the right size, so I have to paint the bottoms of those this week as well. And you saw me construct the water tank enclosure, so I'm gonna go ahead and fit that outside this week. I also want to address wiring because I'm getting so many comments about wiring uh, and I'm doing it kind of in an unconventional way. First things first, the instructions on these are pretty crappy, so I'm gonna figure out how to actually attach these. So good old YouTube University is about to come in pretty clutch. I started this project without like any sort of construction background at all. Just watched my dad and my brother build a few minor things here and there throughout my life with power tools. So I have a basic understanding of how to use tools and whatnot, but I've never really like built anything in my life. So this bus, I've used YouTube for pretty much everything and now it's just become kind of second nature. So I know how to do most things, but when it comes to something brand new, like attaching this, YouTube University is the way to go. The hinges I got on without YouTube. <laughs> All right, that's that. Let's hook it up, see if it works. Fingers crossed it does. What the hell? No, that's not good at all. What the heck? It broke the frame. This piece here sticks out too far and hits here, which then made this pull out. That's a little unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. You run into these problems, I guess. Let's take it apart and do it again, see if I can get it to work right. Okay, so what I did was I left the bottom one right where it was, uh, so I wouldn't have to patch those holes up. And I just moved the top one over because the holes up top aren't as important. But uh, the problem is now this top joint here. See, the pressure that I have to put on here to close the door pulls it out of here. So that's really not great. I think what I'm gonna do is give this project a break and move on to the next <laughs> because I don't really, I don't wanna mess up all five of these doors. I took a little bit of a break. And what I'm thinking is maybe something like this or, or similar to this where it's more or less like a click. So it'll open up and more like click into place rather than it being like a pressurized system. Cause I think the problem is there's too much pressure on the frame of the hinge where the hinge sits and it pushes the hinge upward and it kind of like pops that piece of wood out. But for now, I have to go get another paintbrush. All right, I got my painting shorts on, so that means it's time to get to work. This shouldn't take very long. It's only three pieces and it's just the bottom. All right, and the first coat is done on all three of these. I'll probably get back to it tomorrow morning, but for right now, that's gonna call it for the rest of the day. Started off the morning, or the day, it's not the morning anymore, but started off the day, put the second coat on the bottoms of these wire ducts, so that is checked off the list. The rest of the day is gonna be spent outside. Skateboarding isn't gonna happen today. Completely messed it up and I just didn't even get a pop. <laughs> Holy crap, dude.
before I move everything around in the bus to place this in, I'm gonna grab the little cage and make sure it actually fits. This outlet here and our inlet here so those have to be clear of the wood. For that little outlet, I'm gonna have to kind of construct this so it goes up and over and then attaches to the board. All right, we're going into the bus for a quick minute. I wanna talk to you guys about wiring and electrical. I've been getting a lot of comments about it. It has been a little bit since we've been out here, huh guys? A lot of people run their wiring through the walls and the ceiling and whatnot. I'm not doing that. First, I will be using solar panels. And yes, I know I have this beautiful ceiling on here. So how am I gonna run the wiring? So that's part of why that front part up there doesn't have a ceiling attached to it yet. This third underneath the bed is gonna be my battery bank. That's gonna be where my electrical brain is going. So I'm gonna have 600 amp hours of battery. We're gonna have our inverter. We're gonna have our breakers, all of that. It's all gonna be done in this section and some of it is gonna be done from inside of this wall. That's why this back end of the wall is still open and I didn't close it off. Over on this side, there's almost no electrical whatsoever going on. The only thing that's going on over here is lighting. No outlets, nothing. The kitchen gets no outlets. There's not really enough room. As you guys know, I'm painting those wiring ducts. So that wiring duct is being run all the way across this entire side of the bus. Some wires are getting hidden up in there wires that are going back to front. We'll work our way from the back to the front. The bed itself comes up to just underneath the windowsill, but we're gonna have some extra dead space for like a headboard kind of thing. Not that goes up, but just a headboard that's flat. So we're gonna have a little bit of storage at our heads, a little place to rest our phones and whatnot at night. And there's gonna be one outlet here, one 120, and then we're also gonna have two 12 volts for charging our phones and whatnot overnight so we don't have to keep the inverter on. So this is the refrigerator enclosure plus our garbage and a little extra storage. So this whole piece gets a nice countertop on it and we're gonna have a little duct that runs down that has an outlet built into it here so we can plug in our coffee pot and our blender and what other other and whatever any or what <laughs> I can't talk or any other accessories that we want to plug in for the kitchen and then finally we have the lounge which right now an extreme mess I'm sorry please ignore the mess we're in a construction zone this whole top piece of here if you guys remember from weeks ago when I built this this whole top piece is storage part of this right here is going to be cut out and we're going to have um, a 120 outlet here as well as two 12 volt outlets here so so this is where our third and final outlet is going to go obviously not all of the wiring is going to be going just on that top side any other wiring that needs to be run is going to be run behind the drawers but in front of that main wall tacked into the wall and covered up with a nice conduit so no worries there with wiring getting in the way or getting wet or anything like that. And then as far as lighting goes, kind of decided to take the unconventional route with that as well. So a lot of bus builds, a lot of van builds have puck lighting that goes straight down and you just flip a switch and they turn on and then you have lighting throughout the bus. What we decided on is LED lighting strips instead. We'll have like a little remote control to turn the lights off and on and we can change the colors so we can have some mood lighting. We can have a party in here. It can be a fun little vibe. And that's gonna go front to back on both sides. It's gonna go underneath the cabinets for the kitchen, underneath the cabinets for the bedroom, and it's gonna get run into the bathroom as well. That's pretty much it. That's how we're gonna do the electrical. I know it's a little bit unconventional compared to a lot of other people, but Again, I really don't think that there's a wrong or right way to do that portion of the electrical. Obviously, there's a right way to actually hook it up and get it set and going, which luckily my brother is a computer engineer, so he knows a thing or two about electrical. We're not gonna get into the electrical for a little bit longer. We still have some things to build up, make sure that everything is kind of in place before we really start getting that going. I just wanted to tell you guys, because like I said, I've been getting a lot of comments. It's been a thought out process since I started the project and I, I knew that was the route that I wanted to go since day one. And that's why I've built everything that I have so far. I'm gonna see what else I can do today that's maybe a little bit of fun. So loud. I sold my snowboard a few years ago and I'm filled with a lot of regret from that now.
<laughs> I ended up backwards and covered in snow. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put that third coat of paint on in just a little bit on those uh, on the wiring ducts. So I'm gonna finish that off today. So that's gonna end off the week. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I did film two extra videos this week that will be coming out in the following two weeks. So make sure you keep an eye out for those. I think they're gonna be midweek posts on Wednesdays. Peace.